What is good YouTube? Welcome back to Timeless Sneakers and Watches. We're back at it again with another review, this time of this beautiful Seiko SPV 169. I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to Belmont Watches. Adam, thank you so much for providing this watch for review. Guys, there's a link down in the description. This piece is available and for a steal. So click down below, there's a promo code. Let Adam know, Timeless Sneakers and Watches sent you. He will take care of you. Guys, I hope you enjoy this review. Let's get into it. Seiko is known for a lot of things, but what is the one thing that comes to mind when you think of the brand? Dials. There are so many good dials out there, and then there's this, the SPV169, another great dial by Seiko. Every watchmaker has their own unique mark, the one attribute and feature they're all known for. Omega has the twisted lugs, Rolex has the Cyclops, and for Seiko, it's their dials. While many may complain that Seiko quote-unquote continues to move up market, and the days of paying $250 to $300 for a Saab quality type Seiko are long gone and behind us, Seiko continues to show us why they're one of the most loved brands we are lucky enough to enjoy. Now, what did Seiko do with this beautiful piece? Let's take a look at what you get before we dive into this amazing dial. You get a 316L stainless steel case with their super hard coating to help with scratches. Dimensions for the SPV169 are as follow. You get a 39.3 millimeter case. You get 20 millimeters lugs, 47.2 millimeters lug to lug, and a thickness of 11.1 millimeters. Top glass is a sapphire crystal with AR coating on the inside. You get a signed push-pull crown with manual hand-winding capabilities, a screw-back case back that is also see-through, water-resistant to 100 meters, Lumabrite on the hands and indices. The movement powering this piece is the 24 Joule 6R35 with a date complication, giving you a power reserve of a whopping 70 hours beating at 21,600 BPH or beats per hour. And all this for the retail price of a thousand dollars. Now, you may be thinking, what the hell? A thousand dollars for a Seiko? Yeah, and you're getting every penny worth. For so long, we were spoiled with the Saab 033 and the Saab 035s of the world, the quality of watches we were so lucky enough to purchase back in the days. And in doing so, in my personal opinion, Seiko created an unfriendly connotation to the brand's name. This idea Seiko watches are cheap and that all their lines from Prospects to Presage should all be looked at and priced at the Seiko 5 category was their own wrongdoing. Glad to see the brand finally understands their worth. Now, I know, wow, Omar, you're such a Seiko fanboy. <laughs> <I'm sexy. laughs> and to be honest, it is what it is. I speak facts. So many of us watch enthusiasts praise Swiss watchmaking and for the right reasons. There's no denying what they do is phenomenal. Doing everything in-house, the quality, and of course, because it carries Swiss made on the dial, everything else goes out the window. But what about history? Did we forget that most Swiss companies wouldn't be here because of what Seiko did? The quartz crisis, ring a bell? Seiko, the little Japanese watchmaker, single-handedly revolutionized horology. Agree to disagree, we cannot deny Seiko is a powerhouse in watchmaking. And wearing a Seiko should no longer be viewed as cheap. But that's a whole nother conversation and video. Let's focus on what Seiko does best. Create a complete in-house built, 
beauty of a watch. I think personally, one of the things Seiko does best, aside from covering every price point in the market and creating these amazing dials, is the stories and where they pull inspiration from to create these amazing pieces. Japanese culture is so amazing in so many ways, and it's fair to assume Seiko is definitely proud of this. The way they transpose an idea that reflects their culture to a dial is quite frankly amazing and pure art. This beautiful Tokiwa green dial, which is the color of evergreen trees per Seiko, features an engaging Japanese pattern on the dial. The hexagonal pattern that puts spirit into this dial is taken from the Japanese asanoha, or hemp leaf pattern, a popular motif used in Japanese culture over thousands of years ago. The overlapping geometric pattern covers the entire dial, creating angles that play with the light beautifully, making this dial a masterpiece of art. And let's not forget the splash of color with the gold seconds hand. The indices are applied to the dial and are filled with Seiko's Lumi Bright Loom that simply never disappoint. Another detail that ups the quality factor is the case and bracelet, reminding us and giving us more of a grand Seiko feel, almost teasing you on what you can expect when you truly move up market. And let me tell you, this bracelet and case does not disappoint. The bracelet has a very grand Seiko feel truly feels amazing and it's nice to see they can deliver a good bracelet in clasp when they want to the clasp is milled and just closes to perfection matching the flow of the bracelet the profile is sharper and more angular on the case than your regular presage models making this watch more dynamic in my opinion the use of sapphire crystal with ar coating instead of hard lex over the dial and on the case back lets you know Seiko is really listening to its consumers. And at this price point, I'm thankful. Seiko knocked it out of the park, no questions asked. In my personal opinion, they're providing you a nice, dressy, but also sporty watch that screams JDM in Japanese culture through and through. Truly a great example of the artistry of Japanese craftsmanship. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that review as much as I enjoyed making it. The SPB169 is truly just another remarkable example of what Seiko does best. Truly enjoyed everything about this piece, how it wore. That dial was just beautiful to look at all the time and I was this close to keeping it in the collection. Unfortunately, just taking other things into account, I'm going to skip on it for now. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, a link is down in the description. This piece is available for an amazing price. Make sure to hit Adam over at Belmont Watches. He'll make sure to take care of you. I promise you guys, he is one of the best in the game. Also guys, I wanna thank you. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, we've hit 100 followers on YouTube. I know that seems uh, silly, uh, probably to most, but to me it means the world. And so I appreciate you all for going on this crazy journey, these crazy ideas of mine. And so all 100 plus of you, I wanna say thank you for uh, the continuous support. Guys, also please follow me on Instagram, Timeless Sneakers and Watches. Follow Belmont Watches as they constantly list amazing pieces for sale. Also hit that subscribe button, it goes a long way. Truly helps the channel. And again guys, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for spending this time with me and uh, till next time, peace.